planet where eight evolved from men? Sure. Alright, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm going to show you my little Planet of the Apes wall, a film series so awesome. It deserved a whole wall in the house here. Let's check it out. Starting high in the rafters, we have from NECA, the Gorilla Soldier. It's a two pack there. Uh, I believe it was originally a uh, Toys R Us kind of exclusive. And also from NECA, the same line, all the way up in the rafters there. Dr. Zaeus there. Also from NECA, Conquest Gorilla. And General Aldo. It's my favorite line, the vintage line. Amigo. Again, the glare. Oh, it's not so good. So the Planet of the Apes is just, for me, it was awesome. It was a story of uh, mankind, sort of. You know, what are we doing? Did we come from apes? And what would happen to us in the future? Uh, it's very just interesting. Of course, I love animals, so I actually was always rooting for the gorillas. I always rooted for the gorillas, even though I kind of saw the struggle of man, you know, you want to be free, you don't want to be treated like that. But uh, I just think all in all, the whole series was just epic. No collection is complete without a trash can. Good old Planet of the Apes vintage trash can there. And a modern cat that's always in the way. There's the other side of that can there. Cup, some of the playing cards. They re-released the movie. Poster with the first two on it. Of course, Planet of the Apes original one came out way back in 1968. So it's been ape fever pretty much ever since. I love Beneath Planet of the Apes. I love Maul, actually. There's not a really an ape movie that I don't like. Escape Planet of the Apes. Conquest. These are all half sheets. The final chapter. Or is it? Because they've made a lot more ape movies after this. Again, up in the rafters of the basement, Tim Burton's. His was okay, entertaining to watch. It's pretty much an advertisement that you'll see inside the movie theaters for the movie. And a few from that line, Tim Burton era. Mexican bootleg Planet of the Ape toy. And the one and only Linda Harris. I just got this. It was like a send away autograph thing, so I didn't get a chance to meet her, but she played the iconic Nova character. Along with the half sheets, I have some lobby cards. I'd love to collect them all, but I don't have any room. So I just bought a few that I thought were kind of the cooler of the ones. Sorry about the glare. Full size movie poster for the Dawn Planet of the Apes. 1998 Kenner came out with these. So they're slowly aging, I guess, like fine wine, but I really love these larger figures. My favorite being General Ursus. Also from the newer Trinity, Caesar and Coba. I would love to get Lucas, but I can't seem to find him for a good price. There's Maurice. Of course, my first love is collecting records, so anything Planet of the Apes and records is perfect. Original soundtrack, Beneath, and two, three of the newer ones. And one more to get, hopefully soon. And love the artwork on these, the vintage Planet of the Apes book and record sets. For some reason they didn't make one for Conquest as far as I know. And as for 8 Media, of course you have to have the book. That was great. Every few years 
gotta pull out. I actually like the Blu-ray versions a lot. Every few years I'll pull this out and go through all the eight movies. Kind of like a Star Wars marathon, except with a bunch of apes. Planet of the Apes TV series, love that as well. Of course the cartoon, awesome. And then the more recent movies, Tim Burton's one, and then the last trilogy. So they have to have all this as well. From the cartoons, to the records, to the doll action figures, everything is just great in the world of Planet of the Apes. I hope you like my little ape wall and then some tour. Unfortunately, I'd love to get more stuff, but I just am out of room. Uh, but hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.